Hey guys, welcome to episode 24 of the D Heart House podcast. My name is Alicia. I'm coming to you from Big Spring, Texas, and this is my podcast about knitting and crafts related to knitting. Today is Wednesday, December 13th, 2017, and I have uh, a few things to show you guys today. So <laughs> I don't have a lot but I have a lot of new things that I'm really excited about. So let's first let's start the episode with announcements. So for announcements today, I would like to first remind everyone that the Canuck Socks Knit Along is still going on and it will continue through the end of this month. So December 31st will be the end of the Knit Along. I will close the finished objects thread out on January 1st. So the Canuck Socks Knit Along is just about knitting a pair of Canuck Socks, which is a free pattern on Ravelry designed by me. So there are two things you have to do. The first one is be a member of the D Heart House podcast group on Ravelry. So you have to be a member of the group to win. And then the second thing you have to do is knit a pair of Canuck socks and post a picture in the finished objects thread when you're finished. That's it. I have no yardage requirements, no yarn weight requirements. I don't care what size you knit your socks, just that you use my Canuck socks pattern and post a picture when you're done with the pair. That's it. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, pretty simple, I think. Uh, and the winner will be randomly chosen from the finished objects thread. And that person will get the chance to pick out a sock size bag from my Etsy shop, which is D Hard House Creations. So once I choose the winner, I'll announce it on the podcast. That person will get in touch with me. What you'll do is go on to Etsy to D Heart House Creations. You'll look at the styles of bags that I have available in the shop that are sock size. You'll pick the design you like. You'll send me a message on Ravelry telling me which one that is and your address and I'll ship it off to you. And that's it. Uh, yeah, so Canox socks, yay! Uh, my second announcement is um, just to say thank you so much for being a viewer of my podcast. So if you're new, thank you for tuning in. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Uh, I've noticed that the number of subscribers is growing. Now, while I don't have like 10,000 subscribers, um, I'm still really excited and really happy about the growth that I've seen and I just I really want to say thank you so much for for being so supportive you guys are the best knitters really really are the best people so thank you uh, so that covers uh, general announcements so what I'd like to move into now is the shop update so I have a couple of shop updates. So the first shop update is on Ravelry, uh, D Heart House Designs. So I'm dabbling in uh, designing knitting patterns. And what I'm doing is, uh, what I'm trying to do, is post a bunch of free patterns, um, really simple, easy things. Uh, to hopefully get people to start knitting my patterns and, and give me some feedback um, when appropriate. So, you know, good job, or I really hate the format of your pattern, uh, <laughs> whatever, um, so that I can grow and learn and get better and hopefully put out more uh, complicated designs later. So... Sorry, I really needed a sip of my coffee. <laughs> so, so I've posted another free pattern for you guys on Ravelry. It's called the Washington Boulevard Mittens. 
named after one of the nearby streets here in Big Spring. Uh, and yeah, it's just a really simple mitten pattern. I believe on the last episode I showed you guys my finished pair of mittens. Uh, so I finished editing the pattern and I've posted it now on Ravelry for free. So D Hard House Designs on Ravelry. You'll find the Washington Boulevard mittens is a free uh, PDF download. And the mittens only come in one size, just an average adult size mitten. Um, I'd say I have a pretty average hand size for a woman. So it's an average woman's size mitten. Not that you can really tell how big my hand is by holding it up to this camera. Um, I have a ruler. Several rulers. Whatever. Right. Like a seven inch hand. From the base of my hand to the, yeah, like a seven inch hand. So, yeah. And the cuff come down. Of course I didn't bring the mittens in here because I'm silly like that. But, anyway. Yeah, so the pattern is up for free. I posted it this morning. A bunch of people have already looked at it and downloaded it. So feel free to help yourselves. And uh, I just, I don't know. I'm in education, so I love sharing ideas and furthering the growth of our community and things like that. Not that there aren't already great mitten patterns out there, but I feel like, you know, why not have more? So, anyway. Um... D Hard House Designs on Ravelry, free mitten pattern, go help yourself. So, yes, I also have an Etsy shop <laughs> where I sell handmade bags and stitch markers. I think right now I only have bags in the shop. So, I really wanted to put an episode out for you guys this past weekend, but it didn't happen. And part of the reason it didn't happen was because I really wanted to have bags to show you guys and also because I really wanted to have some lazy days where I didn't have to like do my hair or anything so <laughs> um, yeah <laughs> I was really lazy and I loved it so the bags that I have to show you now this section of the podcast might be a little um, long because what I'm going to show you is something new and I'm really excited about it. So, um, yes, I have three sizes of bags in my shop. I have the small size, which is the Notions bag. And I can show you, I have one of my own. It is just filled to the brim. Well, it's not, I still have room in here, but <laughs> anyway, I have two tape measures, a little um, tin with stitch markers in it. I have a whole bunch of double pointed needles in here. I have my um, needle size checker thing um, <laughs> and a ruler here for gauge. I have scissors in here and, and I still have room for more. So this is my small size bag and of course a zipper because we don't want all those little things to fall out. Anyway, this isn't new. I'm just going over. So I have the small size. Then I have sock size which is meant to hold like your actual knitting project and I call it sock size because I do knit a lot of socks and so you put your sock project in here with your yarn and your needles and everything is good lots of room uh, in fact you could if you ball up two 100 gram skeins you can fit those two balls in the bottom of this bag snugly. So you could center pull from them and because they're kind of fit in here snugly, they won't move. You can center pull pretty easily. And then I have my sweater size, right? Which is almost twice the size of the sock size. Um, and it's big enough to hold a sweater. In fact, I have a sweater inside of here that's in in the works. Um, in fact, I've knit the whole body and half a sleeve of a men's sweater 
in here and you can see it's pretty full. I still have room in here. It's not like it's busting. So yeah, sweater size. It's a good bag. Good big bag. Okay. So what I'm doing is sort of, <laughs> I went to the fabric store and of course I found something new and was like, oh my god, I have so many ideas. So <laughs> here's my um, sort of new revamped sock size bag, which I think is really cool. Uh, so I'm going to show you the first one that I made. I went ahead and finished the whole thing so that I could test it out and sort of put it through the grind and make sure it really is a good quality product for you guys like I want it to be. So I found this um, leather vinyl um, type of product. It's not real leather, but it looks like leather. But it's a really durable, water-resistant type of fabric, which I love. Um, I'm always really cautious when I set my bag down to make sure that the surface is clean before I set it down. And I did have a project bag get a little dirty and stained because I set it down on a wet counter and didn't realize it and it wasn't just water and I just got really sad so what I've done is put this leather vinyl type fabric on the bottom of the bag so it's this water resistant material that also helps the bag hold its shape. But more importantly, it's the most durable fabric on the most... What's the word I want? The part of the bag that's going to... is the most prone to accidents, right? Because that's where we set it down, all right? So, it's easy to clean. You just wipe it down with, with a cloth, right? Um, which means you're not going to want to put this in the washing machine, but do you really put your project bags in the washing machine? If you do, and that's important to you, then I would love to know that. Um, but I, I don't put mine in the washing machine. So it just makes us so much easier to clean. Because like I said, it's just, it's, I don't know if you can hear that. Right? I love it. Okay, so I have tested it out. I have set it down on wet surfaces and wiped it off to make sure. And yeah, we're good. I love it. Okay, so I have, so I'm adding that in on the bottom of the bags to give it more versatility and durability. So you can take this more places. You can set it down on the counter in the bathroom and not worry as much <laughs> about your bag getting ruined or the contents inside getting ruined because um, that's really important to us and then I'm also using that same durable fabric on the handle which also sees a lot of wear and tear and I'll just make a wristlet out of it okay so that's the main thing that's new so let me show you the design on this bag this is what I'm calling my dainty deer bag because it has this dainty deer on it. It's so cute. Okay, so this is still out of the cotton fabric. I can still use those really pretty designs on here. I just have, we just have the durable fabric in the place where we need it most. And then I've also added in the clear vinyl on the outside for a pocket. And I've lined the top of it with the same exterior fabric so you're not going to cut yourself on the edge of that vinyl it's nice and soft it's covered and I also added a snap closure to that pocket okay so I did play around with the idea of a pocket previously on a bag and I just I didn't like that this pocket didn't stay closed so I added that snap closure on there okay so this pocket is big enough that my phone fits in it, okay? And I have, I have a Samsung, I think it's an S5, it's old, uh, for a phone it's old. And I have this big case on it, which makes it even a little bit bigger. And you can see, good lord, I need a case because look at, okay, tangent! Do you see this on my phone? Okay. 
I fell when hiking and I I had my phone in my hand because I was taking pictures while hiking and I fell and this hit a rock and it tore off a bunch of this rubber off from here and my phone is fine so thank goodness I had this case on here okay anyway this fits in this pocket and I can snap it shut yeah okay so it's big enough for that okay anyway all right so you can put your notions in there like I could transfer some things from here into that clear pocket now I'm not putting a zipper on here I'm putting a snap so you know things could fall out little things could fall out depending on what you're putting in there but anyway it's really nice you can tuck your I've been what I've been doing is I have um, I have a checklist for one of my patterns and uh, I've been sticking that in here excuse me so I can see my pattern while I'm working on it anyway doesn't matter okay so that's different. We've got the vinyl bottom, we have the vinyl pockets with snap closures, plus the D-rings I'm no longer putting on the inside of the bag. What I'm doing is putting it on either side. And there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, the handle, the little wristlet. Number two, I'm uh, going to be making longer handles so some people aren't fans of the wristlet which is totally cool so I'm going to be making a longer handle that will then clip to either side of the bag so you can make almost like a purse out of it okay so you could actually take that long strap put it over your shoulder and carry it on the side okay or you know with your hand so yeah plus because of the way I've put these little tabs on here, this ring could either be for the outside of the bag or for the inside of the bag. So if you get one of my Notions pouches, so I didn't put that on here, on mine. I didn't put a little uh, clip on it. But what you could do is you could clip it to this ring and have it facing the inside of the bag so it's then on the inside right your keys or whatever and you know this can be clipped on to either side of the bag depending on if you have a preference or not then I have more <laughs> okay then there's I'm gonna take this handle off to make it easier then there's the closure for the bag so so let me grab my sock size bag so up until now I've only had zipper closures on bags okay which I love personally but not everyone does and I totally understand your reasons for not always wanting a zipper okay so I love the zipper closures because then I know nothing is gonna fall out of here and I just I like that security however some people would rather have snaps so that their yarn doesn't catch on the zipper or and this is kinda cool because they're snaps you can st you can have your bag closed but still have the yarn coming out of here because I put two snaps on here you really get three openings to choose from so if you really wanted you could have three balls of yarn in here and have them coming out the three sections or two balls of yarn in here and having them come out of two of the sections whatever is not that cool oh, oh my gosh okay now here's part of what I love about this new bag is that it stands up so easily so because of this really strong durable fabric this bag stands up so easily okay so it's going to keep its its shape which is really awesome now 
if you're the type of person who wants an easily collapsible bag, I mean, it does fold down. It's not like you can't. However, it just, it wants to be the bottom of your bag. Anyway, I love it because I use my bags all the time for holding my yarn while I'm working on a project. And so this is going to let me do that even easier. So I have the Dainty Deer design. All right. Now, this is my bag. Like I said, I, you know, the first one's for me. I work out the kinks. I test out the construction. I make sure that it's actually, you know, I do some quality control and I make sure that it is actually the product that I wanted it to be. And so far, so good. I love it. Okay. So I have the Dainty Deer design with the pink interior, which matches the pink on the outside. All right now, here's the deal: is at the checkout you get to decide whether you want snaps for your closure, or if you want a zipper. Okay, now I'm gonna have a f a few of this design available. So what what's happening is I've I've made the bags without closures. Heck, I'll even make that an option. You don't want snaps and you don't want zippers. I just pop it in the mail. If you want snaps, you'll choose snaps when you're putting the product in your cart, right? And I'll add snaps on it and then ship it out to you. And if you want a zipper, I'll sew in a zipper and then ship it out to you. Okay? And, excuse me, you know, each bag will come with a wristlet handle or you can add on the longer handle which I still need to create I need to order the um, I need to order more of the metal clips and I need to look into I need to look into stuff. I want to offer a longer handle and I don't know if I'm going to make it adjustable or not depending on the metal fixtures. So longer handles are coming soon. They're still in the works. But anyway, okay, so you get to choose the closure. None, snaps, or zipper. Okay, I've got Dainty Deer, and I have, what am I calling this? Sorry, let me get my notes up. Okay, and this one is the wine lovers bag so it's this um, tan background and it's got what looks like little um, wine stains and in each of them it says a different type of wine Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay uh, etc. Okay the pocket with the snap and then on the interior fabric, oh my gosh, I just love this. Look at that. Okay, it makes me think of like bubbles in, I guess more in champagne than in wine, but I thought it went so well with this. So it's um, gold colored and it's this metallic, so it's not actual glitter, okay? So it's not going to rub off on your project. It's just this gold metallic, um, kind of like a screen print on there with this beautiful coppery rust color background. Yeah, and I'm starting to lose my light now. Anyway, it just, it all goes really well together, these colors. Yeah, so we've got the pocket. All right, we've got the rings on the sides. And like I said, I don't have the closure on it. You get to choose what you want, whether you want snaps or a zipper. Okay, or none. You just like it the way it is. And then, I didn't sew this up, but I cut out the fabric, and I figured I'd just show it to you guys. Um, I'm going to finish this up, hopefully today. I also have this... Um, a gardening themed one so maybe I'll say 
a gardening bag. <laughs> yeah, so they, it looks like seed pouches. Maybe I'll just say seeds. The seed bag. <laughs> yeah, with the vinyl bottom. And then the interior is going to, it looks like burlap. It's not actually burlap, all right? But it looks like burlap. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay. I need one of these for me. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, figure out your camera, Alicia. Yeah, anyway, it looks like burlap. It's not really burlap. It's more durable than that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so that'll be another design that goes up as well. So to wrap up, shop update. So we've got the new bags in the shop. I also have a coupon code. So don't forget D heart podcast 15 gets you 15% off in my shop until the end of the year. So December 31st, 2017, the coupon code expires and these bags count for that. So you can get 15% off one of my new bags. So don't forget to use the coupon code. Um, I really appreciate your orders, those of you who have ordered, and um, thank, thank you so, so much for your support, and um, yeah, I just want to give that coupon code as a little Christmas gift to everyone. Um, if you watch the podcast, um, use the coupon code. Okay, so that went on a little longer than I wanted to, but so many things. All right, so let's talk about... Um, knitting now, shall we? Let's talk about finished objects. So I have a couple of finished things. The first thing um, I don't have with me because it's wrapped and under the tree. <laughs> it's a Christmas gift and it's not a surprise. So uh, I did remember to take pictures though. So I will put in pictures as I talk about the finished object. So I finished a pair of socks for Mary, my mother-in-law, and I called these Mary's Marled Socks. They're knit, uh, okay, so I did 68 stitches. I worked a three by one rib, so three knit, one purl for the patterning on the sock. I used a fish lips kiss heel and a standard toe. And I knit this out of Patton's Croy sock yarn and the colorway is called green striped rag. And I use size one knitting needles, which is a 2.25 millimeter. So yeah, they're nice and loose, which was Mary's request was to have nice um, stretchy loose fitting socks and it worked out really well for that with the um, size one needles the three by one rib and the thicker yarn you definitely accomplished that um, so yeah they're wrapped up and under the tree and it's not really a surprise but I still felt like it was more festive to give it as a Christmas present rather than to just hand them over and say I'm finished <laughs> here you go <laughs> So, um, yeah, and the label, oh, I had another one, I think I put it away. Um, I wrapped the socks in a label that says hand knit with love. And that label came for free from coberson.com. And I think it just gives those knitted gifts a really nice finished look to it. Really nice presentation at the end. So um, check it out if you haven't already. Like I said, they're free. I think she also accepts donations, if I remember correctly. Okay, <laughs> so my other finished object is a hat. Was I working on it last time? I think I was. I remember having to rip back because I had too many stitches and the hat was too big. Anyway, I finished it. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, so I, this is another thing where I was playing around with pattern making. So I didn't follow a pattern. I made this pattern. I mean, I followed a knitted stitch chart, but I had to make my own modifications. 
Anyway, I'm calling this my 11th place hat. So the street that I live on uh, is called 11th place. And oh my gosh, I just love this hat. So before I, no, no. okay. Oh, I love this hat so much and I love the pom pom most of all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So the pattern is called 11th place hat. Um, what I'm doing is knitting another hat and following the pattern to make sure it works out okay and then I'm going to write it up. So uh, the yarn is Knit Picks City Tweed in DK weight. The color is Lemon Curd. So it's very mustardy. It's like much richer in person than it looks on the screen to me. Um, but yeah, I love the Tweedy, the Tweedy event. Um, the size needles I used were size four for the ribbing which is a 3.5 millimeter and a size six for the body of the hat, which is a four millimeter needle. Yep. And then of course the pom-pom. Okay. And the pom-poms I ordered, which I love, have the snaps. <laughs> okay. So I think it would be really weird to wear the hat with that end on it but whatever. Uh, I love that you can remove the pom-pom, especially to wash. When I go to wash this hat, I don't necessarily want to wash this, this little triple here. So that's really nice. And also I bought a whole pack of these things in different colors so I can switch out the pom-pom if I want. Mm, that's super cool. Okay. I just think that's exciting. So I love this hat. I love it so, so much. So I wanted it to be slouchy. Not insanely slouchy because it had, because I knew I was going to put a big fluffy pom pom on it and I knew that would drag it down and whatnot, but oh my gosh. Isn't that the coolest? Okay, I'm just super, I just, I love it so much. So I've worn this like every day since I've finished it because I love it so much. So let me just tell you this yarn, um, I'll show you the tag. Oh, that's not the right one. It's just a different color. Here it is with the, what? They both say plum wine. Whatever, lemon curd is the color of this one. Okay. City Tweed DK. This is 55% merino, 25% alpaca, 20% Donegal Tweed. Okay. So I'm knitting with this and I'm like, it's so fluffy. Okay. Like I kept, um, is that a piece of thread? <sighs> I swept this room after making all of these bags and there's still thread like everywhere. Anyway, <laughs> it's really fluffy. So you probably can't see it, but like, whatever. There's no, I wouldn't call it a halo, but it's not like, What's the word I want to use? Whatever. You can see like the fuzzies hanging off here, right? Okay. So I'm knitting with this and like I keep getting fiber in my mouth while I'm knitting it. I'm like, what the heck? I've never had that before. So I looked at the tag and I thought, oh gosh, it must be the alpaca that's in here. So I've never knit with alpaca before. So it must be that that super fine alpaca, you can kind of see the fluff. Anyway, doesn't matter if you can see it or not. Um, but yeah, it kept like 
getting in my mouth while I was knitting. I don't know if I'm just like knitting there like this. <laughs> and so then it's getting in my mouth. I don't know. Or just while I'm talking, but anyway. It is so soft, you guys. Like merino is soft. Alpaca, in my opinion, is softer, and then you put the two together, and it's amazing. Okay. And the Tweety bits aren't rough. It's just, it's all so soft. I love it. Okay. So, I'm <laughs> knitting another one because I love it so much. And like I said, I'm following um, my pattern to sort of proofread it, make sure everything works out just right. And also, like, during the decreases, I kept the pattern going. So that's where I had to get creative. That's really the part that I need to, like, write down. Because what I was doing was reading my knitting and just doing what I thought I needed to to keep the pattern going. And I love the results, and now I just need to do it again and write it down this time. So, <laughs> so I am knitting the second one out of the same yarn, but in the plum wine colorway. <laughs> so, Knit Pick City Tweed DK in the plum wine colorway, which is gorgeous. Oh my. Okay. So, I'm pretty far. In fact, I'll probably start the decreases in like five rounds or so. And yeah, I'm just following the same pattern. Oh my gosh. It is so fun. And it's so much faster the second time. Because, you know, the first time I kept stopping and measuring and stopping and measuring and trying it on. And, you know, because it's the first time I have no idea how long I'm going to knit this thing before I start decreasing. Well, now I know. So I'm just going to town on this thing. And I love it. Yep. So size, US size 4 for the ribbing. US size 6 for the body. And it's this cable fabric. And I was totally going to work on this, like, while recording. But I'm on a round that requires cabling. And I think I left my cable needle at my mom's house. Did she ever text me back? If it's not at her house, I don't know where it is which freaks me out, but whatever. Cause I had to order that thing cause I didn't have cable needles, whatever. Isn't this hat amazing? Oh my God. Oh, that pom pom is killer. All right. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for knitting. I've been really, okay. Last year for Christmas, I knit all the things and I was like, I'm not doing that again. And because I didn't start knitting ahead of time, I was like, there's no way I'm knitting Christmas presents. Especially not for everyone. Like, maybe for a few. So instead, what I did this year is I went to the sewing machine and I went nuts. So, um, yeah, I made bags. So oh, you'll never guess what you're getting for Christmas, you guys. You'll never guess. Anyway. I had so much fun, but yeah, I cranked that out this weekend because I needed to get that stuff done, wrapped, and ready to go to transport to family. So that was another reason we delayed the podcast a little bit is because I, I really needed to get stuff done for my family. And I'm so happy I did. Okay. Anyway, so that's it for knitting. I don't really have any life adventures to share with you guys. It's been pretty boring around here and I love it. I love it. I will say though that Vlogmas has died for me and <laughs> which is really sad because on the last episode I was like even if it lasts a week, lasts only a week I tried and yeah I think it only lasts five days. I still have more footage that I just I never got around to putting into little vlogmas things to post and honestly that was the biggest part is like recording it was fun but then sitting down that night and editing that really how I want to end my day or start my day because I was mostly doing it in the morning while drinking my coffee and I was like mm, 
yeah, I have better things to do with my time than sit here and edit a mini episode basically every day. So I tried it. It's not for me. I wish my life was more exciting that I had like super cool things to share with you guys, but my life is not that exciting. But that's okay. <laughs> Whatever. All right. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to finish this hat today because you guys, oh my God, do you want one of these? Do you want the pattern? Because I'm stoked. Oh, bet you haven't heard that in a while. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to see you. I don't know when. I don't know when I'm going to do that because I'm not going to make any promises because it is getting close to Christmas and I, I just, I don't know. I can't, if I do one this Friday, I'm going to stop talking about this with you and I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> Happy knitting and Merry Christmas. If I don't see you before Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, uh, Happy Kwanzaa. What else is there? Happy, um, what, what, what is that one called from Seinfeld? Oh my gosh, Festivus, right? For the rest of us, happy Festivus. Happy knitting, and I'll see you guys next time. Today is Friday, nope, nope, not Friday, Wednesday. So used to saying Friday. Today is Wednesday, you guys. It's December 13th. Put it in, just put it in. It better be at her house, because if it's not, then where is it?